This is the first video of the Orange County murderers since they scammed their way out of state prison. They are back in custody and each made their first appearance in court in Bay County within the last hour. We've learned today that convicted killers Charles Walker and Joseph Jenkins may have spent $8,000 on those fake documents that allowed them to walk out of prison. And investigators said today they had to have had a lot of help from the outside. Now, we were the first to tell you last night when they were caught in Panama City Beach, hiding in a hotel. Channel 9's Kathy Bellich begins our live team coverage in Bay County. And Kathy, those court appearances today were brief. They were very brief. Only Jenkins spoke, and the only thing he said was his name. And now it looks as though the two murderers will go back into State Department of Corrections custody rather than going back to Orange County where the forged documents were filed, at least at this point. Jenkins Joseph. 34-year-old murderer Joseph Jenkins walked into his first court appearance with no expression. The judge told him there is a DOC warrant for him for escape and said he will stay on no bond. 34-year-old Charles Walker had his head angled upward. He said nothing but smirked at one point when the public defender smiled about something. The judge scheduled both back here by Friday if they are not already in DOC custody so he can keep track of them and make sure DOC picks them up. An hour earlier, FDLE Commissioner Gerald Bailey spoke to Channel 9 at the Tallahassee headquarters. He said the men had no weapons when they were caught. They left prison with very little property, but he says they had a lot of help on the outside, not the least of which was an Atlanta associate who was heading here to Panama City to pick them up and take them away. FDLE says there will be more arrests because of that. Jenkins and Walker had no idea law enforcement knew they were here at the Coconut Grove Motor Inn in Panama City Beach as of Thursday. FDLE says they there is information that someone was offering to doctor documents for $8,000, but FDLE is not naming names and is still investigating. And FDLE also said that there was possibly a man that links the two murderers through depositing money into their prison accounts. FDLE says it is still talking to the escaped murderers, and now it's working with authorities in Atlanta to try to track down at least someone who might have been helping these men get away. And we'll have much more on this story later on Eyewitness News tonight at 6. Reporting live from the Bay County Courthouse in Panama City, Kathy Bellich, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.